Hello, this is Garrett. Hey, uh, since Measure F failed last uh, time, you tried to raise sales taxes to the highest in the nation only just about a year ago. You all should have got it that the people had spoken and don't want higher taxes, and you should cut the fat and curb spending, among other things, to achieve a balanced budget. I guess not. For a long time now, the city government has approved big spending, growing the government with ever more spending, regardless of population size, the economy, rising income, or what the people have been willing to pay for. We've seen these charts for a while, and you've done nothing. As far as the extensive, well-surveyed ballot language of how to con people to vote for the highest taxes in the nation, another wasted expense like Measure F, it says money is to be spent to be spent to protect and maintain essential services, including keeping pollution out of the rivers, big streams, preparing for wildfires, maintaining repairing streets, potholes, improving, maintaining neighborhood parks, beaches, and public safety. But all of that is what you should have been doing and prioritizing anyway, like a regular city, with the huge amounts of money you now receive, ignoring that you have an overspending addiction and not all your spending is essential. Other cities can balance budgets. You admit previously in this agenda the city is, uh, well, in this one too, losing $10 million a year, and this produces eight. So no improvements, uh, extra improvements can actually be expected. You promise nothing. You have learned nothing. You haven't shown you can be trusted with budget monies. Just more spend first. Hope to tax later. Irresponsibility. As far as wildfires, you might be interested to know, 2023 had the lowest national fire, forest fire burn rate in decades. Uh, stuff those wildfires into your climate change alarmist trash bin. The only other stated use seems to be a slush fund to deal with homelessness, but you don't say how much goes for this or that or <laughs> many uses. You just hope all these catchy phrases find the voters' fancy. I disagree. Homeless people are an essential city expense or responsibility, and I don't think that the point-in-time count this year and the wettest year ever might be accurate, and your reduction of homelessness might be fiction. This is a shotgun phase money grab. Perhaps this should be a temporary tax while you prove to us you can demonstrate a balanced budget as a trial and not just commit permanently to hopeless tasks like ending homelessness that is above your pay grade and responsibility. Never mind, this is a regressive tax that falls on the poorest. Never mind, we have little to show in California for all these high taxes. Never mind, our population has not actually grown in three years despite your false claim we are rapidly growing. And anyway, if more people come, it means they pay more taxes, too. The city cost per capita is currently very, very high. Just a suggestion, get rid of all the DEI personnel, the DEI training, the climate change staff, insist any grants 100% pay for staff, ditch the living wage and contractor requirements, those overly generous extra staff holidays, and these expensive surveys, because none of any of that is anything we can afford to pay any sense. If nothing else, at least learn from the lesson of where all our financial problems originate, which are the expanding debt payments and inflation caused by the ever-expanding federal government immoral and corrupt debt overspending, not that taxes are too low.